Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Claude skills and how much of a difference it can actually make to design and things like that. I originally thought that Claude skills were a waste of time. However, after some deep testing, I found that they can actually make a huge difference to design and much more. Let's get into it. Now guys, this is officially the missing link from AI building. This site was built using AI skills. This site was built without AI skills. Now you can see that one of them, this one on the right, the Galway SEO.ai, it does look very good, but this was an iterated on prompt. This used Opus 4.5 and it did have a lot of things in there saying, you know, use a specific font like DM Sans, et cetera, et cetera. Now this one here is an out of the box build with one single prompt using skills to improve the original design and the effect is absolutely insane right let's click on dublin here just look how good this design is comparatively it's so much better now i'm going to show you how to use skills how to get them into your ai systems quickly and easily in this video now, Anthropic actually has this article right here, Improving Front-End Design Through Skills. So it's super, super interesting. You might notice that when you ask an LLM to build a page without guidance, it will often use the same font and purple gradients, white backgrounds, minimal animations. The issue is they're kind of pre-programmed to use a specific set of rules when designing something, right? So what can we do? We can steer AI to use something in a different way, but, even better is skills because they're dynamic context loading. That means you can steer dynamically the build of anything, right? This is where things start to get extremely interesting. So this is actually why they built skills. And I'm gonna show you how you can easily and quickly introduce skills to your workflow. So the first thing we can do is we're just gonna grab a fresh terminal and do MKD Claude skills, right? And just to clarify, guys, this is already in my GitHub repo. If I go on GitHub, you might remember the Claude Agents Wizard. This is my most popular repo that I've ever had on GitHub. People are going crazy for this system right now. I've already added this to all of my systems. So you can see skills slash front end aesthetics. This is already built into my system, right? So I'm not gonna show you how to use that system in today's video, you can watch some of my previous videos. But just so you know, when you build now with this system, it will use front end skills automatically. And just one more thing to mention guys, if you are curious about Vibe Coding and you want a little bit more help, maybe with beginner or maybe with intermediate Vibe Coding, and also if you wanna know how I make my custom Claude workflows, join the school community. We have a coffee hour, which is happening in 60 minutes from the release of this video. So every Thursday we meet like-minded people, we discuss, all of the latest AI developments and much more. There is a link for that in the description of this video. Okay, so just going back to actually getting these skills into your system, right? From here, we do CD Claude skills, and then we can write Claude here. And then all you need to do to create this is you go to introducing, sorry, agent skills right here. This is the Claude documentation and copy page, right? And paste it. And then you go back to Anthropic, front end skills, grab this one here, right? This time I'm gonna do control A, control C like that and paste it. And all I'm gonna do is just go to the end here. I'm gonna say, please add this skill to your memory so you can use it, right? And then press enter. What this will do is it will create the skill in the correct way because you've sent it everything, right? You've sent it the documentation and much more. So you can see it's adding it to the doc Lord slash skills slash agent skills guide right here. What this is gonna do is it's gonna specifically add the skill to where it needs to be. Now the difference between skills and agents, what is the difference? The difference is an agent uses Claude's base coding system, right? So if you use an agent today to make your front end system, it will still be the purple standard fonts, things that you're used to. What skills does is it takes that memory that it has, right? It's within its training and it says, don't use that specifically. Instead, use this skill when you're doing something, right? So watch, 
I'm just going to leave and then do forward again. I'm going to say, please uh, activate the skill that you have in your memory. So what this should do is it should say, use skill agent skills guide for using, et cetera, et cetera, right? And we press yes. So you can see here, the agent skills guide is running. Okay, so I'm going to say create a specific skill for front end design. For some reason, it created a skill for adding skills. It's not what I needed, but that's fine. So let's add this front end skill specifically. Read the prompts carefully. So this is what people don't understand, right? You make a general agent, right? It still uses Claude's standard coding practice. You create a skill to replace the standard coding practice with something slightly different. So if you don't want to always have the same boring purple gradient and instead have something that just looks significantly better, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, this one right here, you can just see this looks incredible. Like you're not gonna find a better designer than Claude skills in my opinion. So you can see, done, I create the front end skills. So let's leave again, right, Claude. And then you say, activate the front end skill designer. Right, and this will activate it. And then when you go to code something, so you can see, use the skill, front end skill is now running. Now, if I said, please make me a, you know, whatever. So we'll say, please make me a HTML, CSS, Java, script um home page for a um agency in Galway digital for a digital marketing agency in Galway what this should do is it should build a much better example site than if you just ran this normally and even to test that let's just do a side by side comparison mkd board skills no skill and then CD Claude skills, no skill, right? Claude, and then just write that. This has no skill, this has a skill. Let's see the difference. Oh, no, don't use that skill. Why would it do that? CD dot dot, um, MKD, no skill, CD, no skill, Claude. I didn't even know it had access to the skill. Do not use skills. Let's see if this works. It's probably just gonna try and activate skills anyway. Okay, there we go. So it might still be using skills. It's kind of hard to know because obviously it's it's built into the user, not the project it looks like, which I wasn't expecting actually. So this isn't really a fair test, but let's just see what the skills one builds, right? That, that's what we really want to know is how good is the skill one? How good the non-skill one is not that important because it may be using skills anyway. It might have already read the skills, right? We just don't know. Okay, so this is the standard build by the standard Claude. You can see it looks like basically every other build that you've ever seen from Claude. And then we'll compare this one with the skill one in just a second. Okay, I mean, like, the difference is just fucking ridiculous, honestly. Jesus. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, I, I mean, video over, guys. You can just see the, you can see the difference in literally seconds. Like, it's, it's crazy different. Guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.